Welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today we're going to be replacing the calipers and the rotors on my 3 Series. Now I did actually find this out and if you don't already know, and I probably should have known, but the brake rotors on this car are actually very similarly sized to the M3 rotors. They're only off 3 millimeters width and they're actually the same diameter. So we are actually going to be going to a M3 CSL rotor, which is almost an inch bigger than the one that is on there right now. And then we're going to be going to a four piston Brembo that came off of a newer model 4 Series. And I got these brakes as a takeoff. Here are the calipers we're going to be putting on the car. Like I said, these are a takeoff off of a newer model 440. I did put an M logo on there since everyone has seen it last. And yes, the logo is a little bit on the large side, but once you place a sticker on here, it is very difficult to get it back off. So these are the brakes that are going in the front and now it is time to go and unbox the new rotors. So for everybody who's wondering why there are parts of these that aren't completely painted, I did explain my reasoning for this in my last video where I went through and I painted everything and then I talked about the ups and downs to doing them at home and to getting them spray painted versus painting them with a paintbrush. I ended up doing it with a paintbrush, turned out really good, everything's real nice and glossy, I'm very happy with the way they look. But without further ado, let's go get my wheels off and go put these new rotors on. So the rotors that are going on the car are from an M3 CSL. There's actually only two ways to get this rotor. This is the BMW one and this is drilled. And the ECS tuning one is a drilled and slotted rotor. The ECS tuning one is a little bit more expensive than this OEM BMW one. So I just went with this guy. And the rotor that's up there is a Geomet slotted rotor. And the link to both of these rotors will be in the description below. So here's the rotor side by side, and you can see that this is quite a bit thicker. Now the brake calipers I have originally were fitted to a 440, like I said, and the rotors on that car were a 340 millimeter by 30. This is a 345, so the diameter is five millimeters bigger, and the thickness is two millimeters thinner, but that shouldn't really matter too much. And if you end up doing a big brake kit on your 330, they actually give you this size of rotor in that brake kit. I believe the kits are like a thousand dollars or something like that. So I got pretty lucky that I got these calipers because in the big brake kits, they don't actually replace the calipers. They just give you all new hardware, a bunch of new lines and a bigger rotor, but you use your stock caliper with your new rotor. Next thing I wanna talk about is mounting. You can see here that there are only six holes in this one and this one here has 10. So the standard three series only has one spot for your set screw here. And what that does is it locks your rotor to the hub. And then when you take your wheels off, you don't have to worry about your rotor moving around. Now on the M3, the M3 actually has three alignment dowels and then two screws. But unfortunately this screw does not fit onto this one. So in order to do this upgrade, you do have to buy two screws, one for each side these ones right here are the screws for the M3. Threads and everything are the same size, so it will screw right in. And if you put it here to the M3 rotor, it sits nice and flush. So that's the only hardware I had to buy to get this set to work. The bolts holding your calipers, the caliper mounts, all that fits. You just need this screw here to get these on your car. So with this information out of the way, let's move these off of the bench and get the brake calipers over here. We're gonna get the brake pads reinstalled and then get this put back on the car.
All right, so I am very happy with this. I think that looks absolutely awesome. I am super excited to get these out on the road and get them tested. That will be in a later video. It's getting kind of late tonight and I still have to do the rear brakes. And obviously I haven't hooked them up yet or bled them. The original brake caliper is still in the back here, just laying on this can but that doesn't stop us from getting them installed and making sure that they fit. Everything looks like it fits. So I'm gonna get the rear ones put together. I'm not gonna show the rear ones being put on because they literally look the exact same, the same size and everything like that. No special rotor change or anything like that. It's really just to put brand new calipers on the rear since I have some new ones. So there you have it, a great option. If you want some four piston Brembo's, just get some used ones. Uh, there's lots of people that are taking them off to put the six piston ones on. And for a car this size and this weight, this will be plenty of stopping power. I'm probably gonna be looking up the original stop time. I think they actually publish the from 100 miles an hour to zero or from 60 to zero or whatever it ends up being. And I know that this will be off a little bit because my car actually was stopping faster than that because I had the nicer pads and then I weigh 500 pounds less than what it did originally. So I would like to look up that original number and then see how much different I am now with the weight reduction and these brand new four piston calipers and these bigger rotors. So there you have it. I know that I didn't actually get all of them on today, but it really was just a test to make sure that the front ones fit because the rear ones, like I said, are basically no different than the ones I have on there. I'm only replacing them so I have new calipers in the rear. But the front ones, that was a major success for me. That's quite a big deal for this car to have these four piston calipers and those bigger rotors helping to stop my car. I was editing this video and I forgot to mention that you wanna make sure that you've got the right size wheels. I'm running a set of 18s, and if you're rolling around with a set of 15s or 16 on your BMW 3 Series and you try to do this mod, they probably won't fit. In fact, I'd be really careful about even 17 inch wheels. There's not a lot of room in between the caliper and the inside of my wheel here, and it would be a very sad day to get all of your parts put together and everything put on the car, slap your wheels on and realize that they don't fit. Most of us out there in the car community can't afford to just go out and buy new wheels and tires because you made a mistake, especially if you just went out and bought brakes and rotors and then now you have to go buy new wheels and tires because your setup is too small and can't handle it. So that's all I wanted to add. That is something that can be easily overlooked and would cause a lot of pain and heartache for somebody who goes into this completely blind. So make sure you got the right size wheels so you don't get into your project and find out that you've made a massive mistake and now you're gonna spend another couple grand getting everything to fit like it should. So I thought that was important to include in this video. I appreciate everybody for watching. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video.